Over the last 24 hours, there's been a key upgrade take place for Cardano's ecosystem that most people aren't talking about. And this has prompted whales to pour in hundreds of millions of dollars. It's prompted the TVL for Cardano to increase over 100%. And we've seen massive improvements that could dramatically increase Cardano's price. So in today's video, I wanna go over that, but also if we can understand what's going on with altcoins, we need to know what is going on with the economy and Bitcoin because those have direct impacts on altcoins and the market in general. So starting off with the overall economy, we saw that CPI data for the month of January came out and we saw some pretty exciting information here. We saw that uh, inflation fell to 6.4% year over year, down from 6.5% in our last report. But the key thing here is that it was higher than many economists and analysts were expecting. They were expecting 6.2%, but we saw it come in at 6.4%. So this is a good news, bad news sort of situation because yes, we have continued to see inflation fall. We have seen it consistently fall in the last few reports, but we saw it actually higher than what analysts were expecting, meaning that moving forward, the Federal Reserve might take harsher um, measures to combat inflation and bring it down because they definitely don't want to see it increase in any of the upcoming reports. So in the next meeting with the Federal Reserve and FOMC meeting, we could see Jerome Powell actually come out with more stricter measures and more strict uh, rhetoric as to how they're going to combat inflation. So keep an eye out on that. I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, Neon Link. Neon Link is a new blockchain ecosystem revolutionizing Web3 gaming, and its presale is currently live as we speak. And this is a game-changing ecosystem that I think is going to change the way people look at blockchain gaming. The cool thing about Neon Link is that it has a substantial suite of products, all designed to benefit the blockchain gaming sector including their Neon Token, N-E-O, N token, a naming service, Neon Punks collectibles, multi-chain Neon Wallet, a Dex, games, two different games called Ascend the End and Neon Saga, NFT Marketplace, and many more features rolling out very soon. Neon Link's games, Ascend the End and Neon Saga, have been building in stealth mode over the last few months, and I've seen quite a bit of gameplay on Twitter as of recently that is looking pretty crazy because these games have AAA rated graphics, in my opinion. They are third person shooters games and are unlike anything I've seen in the crypto space. On top of all this, the crazy thing about it is that this is just the beginning for Neon uh, blockchain and what we can expect moving forward. So that's pretty exciting. So ultimately, Neon Link's very own proof of stake blockchain enables a robust and decentralized and scalable ecosystem for the entire gaming sector. And it's going to open up an entire new chapter for Web 3.0 gaming. I think it's a project that has some pretty huge potential and is worth checking out. So use the link in the description, take advantage of their pre-sale, and let me know your thoughts. In addition to that, we've seen with Bitcoin quite a bit of action because Bitcoin just hit a record number of 44 million non-zero addresses. And this is a lot of uh, due to the fact of something called ordinals, which we'll go into in a minute. But according to a report on February 13th and February 14th from Glassnode, they explained that for, that for the first time in the entire history history of Bitcoin. In the 14 years that Bitcoin has been around, a proportion of network activity is being used for purposes other than peer-to-peer -peer monetary Bitcoin transfers. We're seeing the Bitcoin ecosystem actually grow and expand outside of just sending people money. And this, they said, is why we have seen this massive spike in the number of Bitcoin wallet addresses, the number of non-zero Bitcoin wallet addresses. You can see it has just reached an all-time record high of 44 million. They said that this is really due to something called ordinals, which we have seen over 76,000 NFTs minted to Bitcoin because of ordinals, which is the NFT-like project on the Bitcoin blockchain. And the important thing here is that we're not seeing any signs of this slowing down. It's not having any dramatic impacts on transaction fees, but it's very exciting to see that Bitcoin is being used for other things outside of just uh, monetary transfer and that we're seeing so many people show interest in this and we're seeing number of Bitcoin wallet addresses continue to increase. Now let's talk about what's been going on with Cardano because a few major things have happened. First of which, that Cardano officially rolled out the Valentine upgrade. It took place on February 14th, 2023. And in this upgrade, the main benefit to it 
is that it's going to make enhancements to cross-chain functionality for decentralized finance applications building on the network, ultimately meaning that developers are going to be easily uh, able to build out their DApps and uh, use cross-chain, which will ensure long-term adoption of Cardano. Because if developers can build projects on the Cardano ecosystem that can easily interact with other networks and other chains, that's only going to increase and promote adoption for Cardano but also going to encourage developers to build more on the ADA um, blockchain because if it's easy for developers to build cross-chain and it's easy for um, users to interact cross-chain, that's only going to help uh, long-term with adoption. So that is one of the most important things with this upgrade. And according to the official announcement from IOHK, they said that they are pleased to report the Valentine upgrade um, is alive. And they said ultimately what they believe is that interoperability is is key for blockchain growth. They say as more dApps are built on Cardano, it is essential that they are not siloed to just one ecosystem and that users should be able to interact with different blockchains across a wide range of services. So ultimately meaning long-term, you know, you don't know which blockchain is going to succeed, but what we do know is that they all need to work together. So the easier it is for developers to build cross-chain, the easier it is for users to use these applications cross-chain, the better it is long-term and the better chance it's going to be that Cardano will be that top project long term. Moving on, what we've seen is that Cardano's TVL and whale accounts have seen dramatic increases as a result of obviously the market, but also because of these major upgrades. And what we've seen recently is that Cardano's TVL has increased over 100%. On January 1st, 2023, Cardano's TVL was sitting at $48.95 million. That's a pretty low number relative to what we had seen in late 2022 in mid 2022 but now we've seen this number increase over a hundred percent to over 112 million dollars which is a new high for 2023 a lot of this is due to the fact that we've seen DeJed see massive adoption we've seen a lot of money pour into the project and that has contributed very much to this TVL but we've also seen dexes like min swap and Sunday swap continue to grow as well and what we've seen with DeJed is actually DeJed is now officially backed by over 30 1.5 million ADA tokens. And you can see this in an official announcement from uh, Jed. You can see that in this announcement, they talk about how there is 31.496 million ADA backing 2.2 million Jed. That is something that they people like to see because everyone has been worried about stable coins and especially algorithmic stable coins, rightfully so, after we saw all the drama in 2022. But according to the project, they said that their reserve ratio is sitting at 515% because they have this 31 million ADA backing, you know, just a few million JED tokens. So that is something that I think is encouraging a lot of people, making people excited about using JED and long-term could promote the just the entire ADA ecosystem. If we see um, a top 50 project for a top 50 stable coin uh, that is on the Cardano network, if we see look at coin market cap and we see USDT, BUSD, and potentially even Jed long term. Last thing is going to be with whales because recently whales and shark addresses holding between 10,000 and 10 million ADA, they've purchased 659 million ADA tokens worth around $230 million just in that short period of time. So seeing all of this exciting development, seeing whale accounts transact a lot on the blockchain, seeing these big transactions take place, all of this is positive news if you're a Cardano investor and also just a crypto investor in general.